Hi, everybody. This is Steve Maggi from SMA Law Firm. Welcome to Building the Bridge. My guest today is Michael Soon Lee, uh, real estate broker extraordinaire and author based in the San Francisco area. How are you, Michael? Very good, Steve. Good to see you. Great. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Um, I wanted to talk about commercial buying, commercial properties. A lot of foreign in investors are interested in the upside of buying commercial, not just residential for where to live or as a pied de terre, but commercial property. So what are some of the pitfalls that you see that people should keep in mind when thinking about buying commercial property? Well, the first thing you want to do, Steve, is you want to be sure to find a, a real estate broker to represent you in that particular area that you're interested in. And a smart broker, an experienced broker can do a lot of the legwork, the, the research for you, like, you know, traffic counts, if that's important to you, especially in retail, uh, but other kinds of issues. I mean, in the United States, <laughs> we have an incredible number of laws that relate to buildings, safety, uh, environmental, all of these can be, you know, a, a real boon or a catastrophe for someone looking to buy and invest or buy and use the building for themselves. So find someone who's local in the area. And if anybody needs help, I mean, I can, I, I know people from all over the United States, I can find you someone, but you got to find someone in that particular area, or at least someone like me who can help you narrow that your search down to a particular state and then a particular county. I don't know. Depends on the particular area that you're interested in. So I guess one of the pitfalls, the primary one would be not doing it with somebody who's specialized and knows that market, right? Well, you want to be sure that you know, you know, you have someone that is an expert in that market. And, you know, frankly, Steve, I don't know if you should do everything, you know, by Zoom necessarily. Yeah. It's a great way to get started. And I, I go out and I do Zoom tours for people and I show them the neighborhoods and things like that. It's a great way to narrow the search down, but I would never recommend buying a building sight unseen. Okay. Because, you know, you got to look and see what's the neighborhood like. Uh, are there any industrial buildings or hazards in the area? Sometimes you've got smokestacks that are, you know, letting off all of this noxious fumes. Mm. And that could keep people from either, you know, patronizing your business or it could be dangerous for you and your employees. So you've really got to come on over and see it, touch it and certainly smell it. What I see on a, on a legal level too is that uh, people don't understand from different countries where there are a lot of generalists, especially if it's civil law, is this is hyper-specialized in the US. And so you need, you talked about different standards like health standards and commercial zoning and corporate. You need to also work with a broker who knows those attorneys who are specialized and know how to make sure that they're safeguarding the investor's interests as well, right? Exactly. Even the contracts could be different from one city to the other. And so it's very important to work with an expert in that particular locale. There's what other, no what other one... pitfalls are you seeing in terms of commercial investment, Michael? Well, and commercial, I think, is kind of a broad term, Steve. You know, commercial includes warehouses, okay. but it also includes office buildings but it also in the United States includes retail space where you could have a store either downstairs and offices above or mm -hmm. entire shopping centers. But right now the, the retail space has been real challenged. As you know, a lot of retail has gone online. And right. so there's a lot of retail available so there are some good deals to be had, but the question is, you know, in that particular area, how strong is retail going to be over the next couple of years? And only a local expert can give you their expertise and statistics and research around that. But don't necessarily go by gut feel because we, we all make mistakes when it comes to that. There's a lot of losers at casinos around the world that, uh, you know, go by gut feel. And that's not a good way to go. Go by statistics 
and hard data. I was going to say it's not just location, location, location anymore, because you really have to do the research if you're not only where you're putting it, but what will it be used for? What could it be used for? And is that something that's really going to be profitable or not, especially if you're going to run your business out of that space, right? Exactly. And in the United States, we have something called zoning laws, which can be very, very complex. But these laws allow you to do certain activities and prohibit you, as you know, Steve, from doing others. So you want to make sure that the zoning of any building you're interested in using allows the use that you're contemplating. Otherwise, you could buy this building and then Mm -hmm. you couldn't use it for the purpose you want to use it. That makes a huge difference, not only in terms of usability, but in terms of value. Absolutely. That could be catastrophic. Oh, absolutely. And I've seen that happen so many times. And well, good for you. There's lawsuits as a result, Steve. You know, my broker told me I could use it for, um, you know, a dental office. But dental offices, for example, have all of these regulations and they use all of these chemicals. It's rare that you can use anything for a dental office unless it was used for that purpose beforehand. And that includes other chemical uses as well. So very important to work with a broker who's experienced in different kinds of uses and, I'm sorry, in regulations and in zoning. Yeah, they say that the difference between intelligence and wisdom is that if you're intelligent, you learn from your own mistakes. But if you're wise, you learn from other people's mistakes, right? And I think that that's the beauty of working with an expert like you that's knowledgeable not only in the locality and what's happening, but also in all these different things that come together that really influence whether something can be profitable or be a good investment or not. Yeah, and and, you know, fortunately for people like yourself, Steve, in the legal field, I mean, in the United States, we have so many rules and regulations that could trip up a foreign investor. I mean, just the ability to get a loan in the United States can be quite challenging depending on your status. Um, If you have a green card already established in the United States, it's quite easy and you're pretty much like a US citizen. But if you only visit here or have never visited here, the loans, if you wanna get a loan, uh, can be quite challenging and sometimes are not even available. So you've got to work with a broker who knows not only real estate, but also at least is aware of real estate financing and the basics of international real estate finance. Wow, so many moving parts. So if somebody's interested or thinking about buying commercial space in your area or in the U.S., how do they get in touch with you to to start feeling it out? Well, I'm happy to help, Steve. It's very easy to get a hold of me simply email me directly. And my email is simple. It's the number 88mlee at gmail.com, 88mlee at gmail.com. I'd be happy to answer any question or lead you to the appropriate parties that can support you. But I'd love to hear from your audience. That's great. Thank you so much for your generosity, your knowledge, and for your time. My pleasure, Steve.